All right, this is note six one, relations and functions. All right, so relations, a set of ordered pairs, okay? There are different ways to write this. These all say the exact same thing, by the way. Someone earlier asked, which one's the right answer? The answer is yes. They all are exactly the same thing. This is the ordered pair, zero, negative two. If you look over here, I go over zero down two, and I, I put the point there. Same deal with the rest of them. Here's a map of this data. So zero goes to negative two, and then you see zero goes to two as well. Okay, table says the exact same thing as it's a table form, and then that's an equation form. Now, domain and range. So on domain and range, domain is my what values? X. My x values. If there is more than one, meaning it repeats itself, I don't have to write it twice. I'm just listing them. Okay, so domain of that data that's above. What are my x values, my domain? Go. Zero, three, and four. Good. Okay. And then I do a little squiggly line like that for my data set. Range is my y values, which are? Negative two, two, negative one, one, zero. And yes, I know that those were out of order. You can put them in order if you want. Otherwise, I'll take them like that. Okay, flip it. It's freezing here. Cold. It's CPS. Yes. <coughs> so I need to turn off this. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to do that. Turn it up a little bit. Which is, it's really cold now. It's cool. Yeah. Can we turn the AC up? Yeah. It's hot. Rolling is bent right on me. I'm in cold. I'm in cold. I'm done. All right. Okay, so our next one. Function, okay, is when each x, when each x corresponds with only one y value. Okay, so if I'm looking at this guy, is it a function, this set? No. No, because this x is with negative 2, this x is with 2, so it is going with multiple y values, so no. How about number 3, is that a function? Yes. Yes. Because each x value has only one y value. So yes, so the x did not show up more than once. How about number four? Does x show up more than once? Yes. Yes, yes because we know these are my x's, these are my y's. So this would be a no. How about on number five? Does x show up more than once? No. No, no so this answer would be a yes, it is a function. Okay, moving on along. Going back to Algebra 1, if I have a pictorial, a graph here, I use the vertical line test. So no matter where I draw a vertical line on this sneaky, sneaky one right here, it only crosses one time, so it is, yes, a function. Okay, number seven. Number seven, is no. it yes or no? <laughs> no. No, because no matter where I draw a line, I'm going to cross twice, so no. Here's the other thing. Shh. If any part of it is false, it's all false. So, for example, I'm going to write it right here. If I had the Nike swoosh, here's kind of my failed attempt at a Nike swoosh. Okay? If I did a vertical line test right here, it would be yes, correct? But if I did a vertical line test right here, it crossed no. twice, so it's no. If Just like with English, if any of it's false, it's all false. Okay, so that would have been a no. How about number eight? Is that a function? No, because if I did a vertical line test right here, it crosses twice, so this would be a no. Number nine, too easy. It says f of x equal that. Well, what's f of 10? Well, it took out the x and put in a 10, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out the x and put in a 10. So 5 times 10 is 50 minus 1, 49. Number 10, it took out the x and put in a negative 3. Negative 3 squared, that's negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. Too easy. Flip it. What does that have to do with a no and yes? It's for functions, function of x. We're talking about functions and relations. <coughs> and relations. Of course. Why are you in range? Domain and range. Too easy. Too easy. You ready? 
I do interval notation. Some of you in your other classes may have did inequality notation. I'll accept either one, okay? But here's all we ask ourselves, simple questions. First things first, you always do your left first when you're doing your domain, left and right. You always go left first. And then when you're doing your range, you always go down first and then up. So it's always your negative stuff. Or if it isn't a negative, but whatever is the lowest and first left. Anyhow. Domain, looking at this data right here, this this line. How far left is this graph going to go? And since it's going left, I put negative infinity. And how far right is it going to go? To infinity. Now, with infinity, I have to put parentheses. And I put parentheses because you can't hold infinity. It goes on forever. And I would only put a bracket if it actually stops and touches that point. So it doesn't touch it. Or you could have wrote that funky looking R, which stands for? All real numbers. All real numbers, good. Range, how low is this thing gonna go? Yeah. All the way, so it'll be a negative infinity. How high? All the way, so infinity. Or you could have did all real numbers. Is it a function? Yes. Yes, no matter where I drew a vertical line test on it, it would pass with only one cross. Number 12, moving on along. Number 12 is a little different than these guys. And here's an easy way, That's if you have trouble with domain and range, we know domain is by what values? Positive. X values, right? Uh -huh. So look, if I go right here, the furthest this graph went over was right there, and you go down to your X <laughs> axis, I'm only on my X axis, and I put a little line like that. Oh, goodness. Okay, hold tight. Oh no. All right, got five. 